Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Awake and let the winds of the Spirit come and blow through this place tonight. Amen. Awake, O oh north wind yes. and south wind, yes. and blow upon my garden that the spices yes. may flow out. Hallelujah. That's what's happening tonight. Yes, indeed. We've had the north wind well, come in here and blow upon us this night. We've had that south come in and blow upon us yes. this night. If you look in that, if you look up the word north, it says it's a northerly direction, but it means there's a root word there that means hiding place, Hallelujah. secret place. It's the secret place of the Most High, yes. of the shadow of the Almighty. It's the south side. If you look up the word south, it means a southerly direction, but it means right hand. Hallelujah. He's come and he's blown his wind. The word blow there means utterance. Hallelujah. He has spoken to us a utterance. He has given us Amen. a word by the Spirit, Glory. and it's brought forth. It's brought us forth into a realm of the secret place of the Most High, Hallelujah. under the shadow yes. of the Almighty, Hallelujah. and has put us at the right hand of Him, which is His power and which is His strength. Glory. He is speaking to us this night, and He is saying that we are in His right hand. Hallelujah. We are a part of that right hand company. Amen. We are a part of that strength company. We are walking in the strength of the Lord. We are walking in the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is our strength. We are walking in that realm of yes. joy. We are walking in that realm Hallelujah. of His secret place of the Most High under the shadow of the Almighty. He is speaking and He is blowing His wind through and He's releasing and He is letting those spices flow Glory in our God. lives. Hallelujah. 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 Think about that. Hallelujah. Who is this that cometh out of the wilderness? Oh, yeah. Who is this that cometh out of the wilderness? Perfumed like clouds of perfume. Hallelujah. Like myrrh and frankincense and all the powders of the merchants. Who is this oh, yes. that's coming out of that wilderness experience? Who is this that's coming out of that dry place? Yes. Of those obstacles of dryness? It's you. Yes. It's you. Yes, sir. You are coming out like pillars of smoke. Oh, you are coming out. You've been anointed with the incense because that pillars of smoke of myrrh and frankincense is none other than the incense that was talked about in Revelation. Hallelujah. What is this incense? But it's the prayers Prayer. of the saints. Glory. When the four beasts and the 24 elders bowed down before the throne, they all had harps yeah. and they all had golden vials yeah. full of her perfume. Yeah. They all had golden vials full they all had those spices that were yes. within them and that were being released yes. because there was a wind of the Spirit that was Glory coming through God. and it released it. Yes. And what are those harps? Those harps in the Old Testament, if you go and do a search on them, you'll find that in many circumstances and in many situations, the harp represented a prophetical word. Yes, yes. indeed. And you see, it's, the, it's that incense which is the prayers of the saints. And He's anointing us oh, this hallelujah. night with the prayer and the anointing of a prophetical word. Yeah. You know, it's that anointing that is on us this night. It's that oil that is on us this night. In the Old Testament, the, the, the person who had the art of the apothecary, he had the job of creating the oils yes. and the incenses. He took the, the stacne and he took the galbium, yes. and he took the oniaca and the myrrh, and he brought them together, and it was brought forth for a holy oil yes. unto the Lord. Yes. It was brought forth as the perfume Glory. unto the Lord. And that word stachne is a very interesting word. It means, it means drop, drip. It means distill. Hallelujah. And it comes from a Hebrew word. It comes from a root word that means to prophesy, to preach, and to have discord. Glory. There's a anointing. There's a process. Yes. There is a oil yes. that's within us.
that the Spirit of God is blowing upon us and the myrrh is coming forth. Yeah. For you see, statiny is myrrh. If you look it up and you do a search on it, you'll find that statiny is the purest form of myrrh. Glory. And the myrrh is bitterness. Yes. But it, yet it is a bitterness, but it is also a prophetical word. Yes. We've gone through the bitternesses. We've gone through the hard times. We've gone through the struggles. But he's taken those hard times, he's taken those bitter things, and he's turned it into a prophetical word. Yeah. He's turned it into a prophetical right. word in our life, and we are now not speaking bitterness, but we're speaking a prophetical yes. word. Yes. For we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the Glory word of our testimony. God. And the word of our testimony is the spirit of prophecy. Yes. Back to this prophetical word, that, that anointing that we are anointed with. It's that statin. It's that oniaca. It's that delbium. And it's that myrrh and frankincense. Who is this that comes out of the wilderness? Jesus. Powder or like uh, pillars of smoke. Perfume with frankincense uh, and yes, myrrh. Yes. Come into my garden and taste of my garden, oh, right oh my God. beloved. We are being, it says... It says, all of thy garments smell of myrrh. Smell of myrrh that's all right. of thy garments smell of myrrh and yeah. halo and kesa. It says that he, my beloved, is, is a bundle of myrrh that I have betwixt Which my breast breasts, all right. night long. Hallelujah. All your garments are loaded with this Glory. prophetical word Glory. because Glory. myrrh is prophecy. Yeah. All your garments are walking during the day. That in, you're caught up in this prophetical word. And at night when you go to bed, it says you perfume your bed with myrrh Glory. and aloe. And he's not talking about taking a bottle of myrrh and spraying it on your bed. But when you go to sleep at night, you're anointed yeah. with the prophetical word of your dreams. When you go to bed at Glory. night, you are anointing your bed with that myrrh. And he is in between your breasts the all night long. This is the type of word I'm talking about. This is the kind of anointing that I see us yes, coming into. Not only are you going to go to bed at night and dream about him, but you're going to walk in, in the day and you're going to be in that prophetical word. Yes. I see us coming into a realm of the Spirit like we know. Yes, we are walking in realms and we're walking in things we have not seen before. God is really blessing us. God bless you.